Watching this video, you will learn how to scan a single tray impression with a byte. This type of workflow may be useful for modelless full anatomy crown production. It will save your time and resources on model production. At the same time, it allows dentists who are not yet Trios users to join modelless digital production. Start with order creation. In the order form, select tooth and on the indications list, the type of restoration you wish to produce. Then in scan settings, change object type to impression and in tray system, select the tray type that you're going to scan. In our case, it will be two single trays and a byte. Once the order is ready, click scan. The software will automatically move you to the Scanit Dental Scanning Engine, where your scanning steps will be indicated on the workflow bar. The overview window will display scanning information. While scanning impressions, you have the possibility to scan with or without the use of an impression fixture. Just unmark or mark the box to change between the options. Scanning without an impression fixture can be done by using BluTac in the same way you would use it for plaster models. The first step in single tray impression scanning is to scan the upper jaw impression, then lower jaw, and bite impression at the end. You can follow these steps or decide on your own scanning order. Always insert the impression in the way shown in the overview window. If you use the D2000, you can insert both impressions at the same time. However, if you use any other scanner, you have to insert impressions one by one. Once the impressions are in the scanner, click Next to start scanning. The scanner will first make an initial scan on which you should place annotations. Now you can select the area of interest to indicate an area for detailed scanning. Make sure that the green plus button is selected to paint over an area of interest. The radius of a tool can be changed using the slider or a combination of the shift button and mouse scroll. Other available tools will allow you to remove part of a selected area. Remove the whole selection or select the whole area. When you have made your selection, click Next. The detailed scanning of the upper jaw will start. Now you can select an area of interest on the antagonist impression and click Next when you are ready. Detailed scanning of the lower jaw will start and the upper will post-process. When the scans are ready and red areas occur on crucial parts of the impression, you can enable the adaptive scanning option. The adaptive scanning option can be used for both restoration and antagonist impression scans. It will allow you to rescan the selected areas. Just mark parts of the scan that should be rescanned and click Next. When ready, you have the possibility to trim scans to reduce the amount of data that will be carried over to dental system. Use either selection or line mode for that. When you use selection mode, paint over the area of interest, use shift and the mouse scroll in combination to change the radius of a tool. Remember that you have the possibility of free movement between steps in the workflow bar. Once the scans are ready, click Next for occlusion scanning. Insert the bite registration fitted in the wax-up fixture into the scanner. The upper arch side should be facing into the scanner and if you use the D2000, place it on the left plate. Then click Next to start scanning. When the bite has been scanned, click Next to have the possibility to do alignment of the upper jaw scan. You can do that manually using one or three point alignment. One point alignment is the default option. Place a point on the bite impression scan and then in the corresponding place on the upper jaw scan. The scans will align. Then click Next and do the same for the lower jaw scan. When ready, click Next to go to the alignment results and see the scans in occlusion. 
If any small discrepancies occur, use the Optimize Occlusion tool for better calculation. When you click Next, your scans will be saved, and you can click Design to move to Dental Designer. Thank you for watching.